a big decision to leave the country and travel far and wide. It was not an easy task. It was not an easy task. It was not an easy decision to make. But it was something that I knew I had to do if I had to win. If I had to move forward from where I was at that time of my life. Looking back, would I do it again? Absolutely. I would do it over and over again because it got me to where I am now. I was introduced to music as a, as a teenager, as a very, very young girl, and I traveled all over with uh, big stars in Nigeria, and um, I experienced what people my age would not have experienced. I lived the life in Nigeria that most people dream to live. I lived in it. I stayed and enjoyed all the best hotels, the best places, everything that you dream of during my time touring in Nigeria. I experienced that. And at this time, my kids, friends, and um, you know, siblings were all in school, but I was busy traveling and doing different things. And then when that travel um, and tours came to an end, I knew that there was no place for me to go back to school in Nigeria or to you know look for a job or do anything else. Like like I said, I started this when I was not even yet 14 years old. And um, that three years of my life was spent touring around, making friendship and doing a lot of things that I would never have done if I was not in the show business. So going back now, after leaving the shows for over three, almost three decades at that time, I decided to go back to Nigeria to find my roots and to see what's going on in that country. And I see so much opportunities. I met musicians that were big stars when I was back home, They're like, the, like the biggest stars, you know? And I saw them leaving in a very, very, very sad situations, sad places and stuff, you know? I mean, not everybody made it in life. Some people were doing so good. Some people were very much in a bigger place from where they started. Why some were, like, I mean, Nigerians didn't even know about them. Nobody knew about them. They were talking about stories from the past. I'm like, what? Nobody knows the stories. And this, um, this was very, very touching to me. And I, I try to help them more, the most that I can. But um, it was not enough, you know. It wasn't enough at all. I was back there and I started meeting up with my former um, um, father in music. Uh, one of my fathers in music, my Jack Fashek. And um, I brought Mike Apple and a lot of other people. I met so many people that I, I lost contact with and we kept, you know, we, we started getting back to the same situation. Where am I getting to?